This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description. JVOS is a new way of thinking of jujitsu. It's a conceptually based approach to teaching jujitsu. It's a new way of simplifying a very complex art. If you, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link and get your copy of JVOS today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez and today we have a doozy. It's something that ha I have been developing over the past few months and it is a big one. It is a huge concept that I call transitional wormholes. Also, let me know what you guys think about this logo for transitional wormholes. I was messing with it right before I started filming. I put it together very quickly and let me know what you guys think, if it makes sense. If you like it, if you don't, go ahead and leave a comment down below. So let's go ahead and get started with the concept of, tra of transitional wormholes. So transitional wormholes I consider part of basic mechanics. There are two parts to transitional wormholes. The first part is the finishing sequence, a high percentage, very vulnerable finishing sequence for the opponent. And secondly, we have the starting position. So again, this is a situation where I have reverse engineered a finishing position and then I filter my way through into getting into that finishing sequence. So in this particular presentation, we are gonna be discussing two Tr uh, transitional wormholes. So let's get started here. The first transitional wormhole we are getting to from turtle flat. We're getting to turtle flat. Uh, we're getting there using a behind the back arm trap. We hula hoop the arm trap and then we go to into a rear naked choke. So this is a very, very vulnerable finishing sequence. The opponent's arm is trapped with your legs, the opponent is flat on their shoulder of the trapped arm, and uh, we are working for a rear naked choke from this position. Secondly, we're gonna get to the starting position. So the, finish, the finishing sequence is from the turtle flat position. How do we get there? Where can we get this arm trap and then eventually get to the finish? We can get there from side mount, we can get there from side mount top, we can get there from the guard, we can get there from the mount, and we can get there from side mount bottom. So all of these setups, these are just the first four. I've only been messing with these for a little bit, but these are the first four setups which are gonna land us in this devastating finishing sequence. Let's start off with the finishing sequence. So the finishing sequence is very similar to the turtle finishing sequence, which we discussed in wormhole one, but there is a slight variation based on the actual wormhole that we're getting to. Again, turtle flat is a fantastic place. And let me just say that I've been noticing and realized the importance of turtle both from an offensive and a defensive perspective based on the offensive onslaught, which I put upon my opponents. Turtle is, has become a saving grace and the ability to stand up from turtle, which is a skill that I, I was very, you know, on top of when I was wrestling in college, which is controlling the hands and standing up as well as controlling the hands and keeping guys down. This skill has grossly underutilized in jujitsu and in MMA. And I am going to break some, break the mold in how we're going to use the turtle so the importance of turtle has been vastly it has been vastly revealed to me over the past several months so uh, I'm, i want to get into what the escape route is and of course the turtle attack series so this is a cross grip arm wrap control this is a very unique situation um, it's kind of hard for me to explain but basically uh, the arm the opponent's arm is across the waist and then i am holding that wrist uh, with my left arm. So say for example, the opponent's right arm is across the waist. I'm holding on to their wrist while behind them from a chest to back position with my left hand. Anyways, that is gonna be the starting point. Uh, we roadblock the second arm, which means, what, what a roadblock means is if an opponent is trying to you know, defend the choke, if you put your body in front of that, that hand, he can't run through your body. So he's gonna have to go around your body. So I call this a roadblock. Um, so yeah, fantastic way to buy yourself time in order to finish. That's what roadblocks do. And of course, we use the rear naked choke to finish. So again, turtle flat is such a vulnerable position that I am trying to figure out every possible way to get to this vulnerable position. So that's how I'm reverse engineering this, this idea. 
So the starting position uh, to get to this turtle flat finishing sequence, we can do it from the back mount. We can do it from turtle top. We could do it from the side mount top. I, I can't express how excited I am about transitional wormholes and um, just the idea of transitional wormholes as a whole. Guys, this is major. Thank you guys for, for watching this content. Let me know if it's, it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And this is a big one. Transitional wormholes are going to change the game. I'm super excited. If you like this video, if this video gave you some additional knowledge to your jujitsu, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you guys real soon.